Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into a topic that affects many of us, especially when we're out with friends or celebrating alcohol. We've all heard countless stories, tips and tricks about drinking, but how many of them are actually true? The line between fact and fiction about alcohol can get pretty blurry, and relying on some of these misconceptions can actually put your health at risk. That's why we're going to clear up the confusion with the help of chemical dependency specialist Dr. Joseph Janes, so you can drink smarter and more responsibly. We're busting 10 common alcohol myths right now. Let's get started. First up, a myth you've probably heard, especially around social gatherings. Drinking perks you up at parties. Many of us think alcohol gives us energy, motivating us to drink more, especially in social settings. Maybe you felt tired after a long week and thought a drink would liven you up. Dr. Janice notes that we might look to alcohol to dissipate fatigue, enhance our energy, and relieve stress. But here's the truth. Alcohol is a brain depressant. It first shuts down executive functions like judgment, mood control, and natural inhibitions. While some people might feel a rush of thrill or excitement, others experience the complete opposite. Sleepiness, lethargy, or even a depressed feeling. The bottom line? Alcohol interferes with normal brain activity, no matter how you feel when you drink it. It's not a pick-me-up. Moving on to myth number two. A beer before bed helps you sleep. This one is a classic. It might feel like that nightcap helps you drift off quickly. Dr. Janesh confirms that a drink before bed might indeed help you fall asleep faster. However, there's a big catch. It severely interrupts your deep sleep cycles. You'll wake up later feeling completely unrested and likely with a hangover. Your body naturally cycles through light and deep sleep, including crucial REM sleep. Alcohol inhibits that refreshing REM sleep and later causes what's called REM rebound, leading to nightmares and trouble sleeping. Repeated alcohol use can seriously disturb your sleep patterns, making it hard to get back to normal. This can even lead to more drinking or sedative abuse in a quest for sleep. It's a vicious cycle, so better to skip the nightcap for true rest. Our third myth deals with staying warm. An Irish coffee will keep you warm on the slopes. Or any hot alcoholic drink for that matter. You might feel a temporary warmth spread through your body and think it's doing the trick in cold weather. However, Dr. Jan S. explains that while alcohol makes your skin feel warm, it actually deceptively lowers your body's core temperature. Your body usually keeps warm blood around vital organs. Alcohol causes blood vessels in your extremities to dilate, allowing that warm blood to rush to your skin, where it then cools down quickly. The result? Your body can no longer keep those crucial organs warm as your overall temperature drops. So, next time you're out in the cold, don't rely on a drink to keep you toasty. Grab a proper warm jacket instead. Next up, myth number four. A beer is less potent than a cocktail. It's common to think a casual beer is less intense than a strong cocktail, but they are often more similar than you realize. Whether you're sipping a pale ale or a Moscow mule, you're usually consuming a similar amount of alcohol per serving. Dr. Janess emphasizes that any alcoholic beverage will have a similar effect on your body and your ability to function. This myth can be particularly harmful if it leads you to drink more than you can handle, just because you think it's lighter. Always pay attention to the alcohol content in your drinks and be honest with what your body can truly manage. Moderation and awareness are key. Myth five is one we've all probably tried. Coffee can sober you up when you've had a few too many. After a night out, a strong coffee might feel like a lifeline, bringing you back to life. But here's the harsh truth. Coffee has no real effect on your blood alcohol level, which is the main indicator of your intoxication. What coffee does do, according to Dr. Jane S., is trick your brain into feeling energized, more awake or alert. It simply masks the feeling of being drunk. This can be incredibly dangerous. That false sense of alertness can make you perceive that you are not as intoxicated as you actually are, leading to terrible decisions like having another drink or even worse, attempting to drive home. There are no shortcuts to sobriety. To truly sober up, you need time, lots of water, and for your body to naturally clear the alcohol. Be patient and responsible. Now for myth number six. 
All sexes react to alcohol in the same way. This is a crucial one for understanding how alcohol affects individuals. Generally, drinking tends to result in higher blood alcohol concentrations in women compared to men, primarily due to differences in body weight and composition. Dr. Janez explains that alcohol disperses in water, and women typically have less water in their bodies than men. So, if a woman and a man of the same weight consume the same amount of alcohol, the woman's blood alcohol concentration will usually rise more rapidly. While women might reach the legal drunk driving limit of 0.08% blood alcohol sooner, it's vital to remember that alcohol can impair driving at much lower levels for everyone. So, the golden rule remains, don't drink and drive for absolutely everyone. Let's tackle myth number seven. Drinking reduces stress and anxiety. We've all heard the phrase taking the edge off with a couple of drinks after a tough week. Alcohol can initially make you feel looser and more at ease because it's a depressant. However, these effects are fleeting and temporary. In reality, alcohol can actually increase anxiety the day after. So while you might feel momentarily calm, you could end up feeling even more stressed later. If you use alcohol to numb anxiety symptoms, it can make those symptoms worse over time because you're not learning healthy coping mechanisms. Dr. Janess points out that we often seek quick fixes for pain and crave instant gratification. Another issue is that over time, you build a tolerance to alcohol, requiring more and more to achieve the same numbing effect, creating a dangerous cycle. It's much healthier to find positive ways to manage stress. Moving on to myth number eight, alcohol only hurts your liver. If your doctor gives your liver a clean bill of health, don't take that as a green light for heavy drinking. Alcohol impacts far more than just your liver. It can affect your heart, blood pressure, kidneys, and significantly impact your mental health. As Dr. Janice explains, when you ingest alcohol, most of it is absorbed through the mucous membranes in your throat and esophagus, entering your bloodstream and compromising every part of your body. Alcohol is also inflammatory and increases your risk of various cancers and other diseases. So it's a whole body issue, not just a liver one. Our penultimate myth is myth number nine. Mixing energy drinks and alcohol is okay. This one is particularly popular among younger crowds, thinking that an energy drink will counteract alcohol's drowsiness. But this is definitely not a good idea. Similar to mixing alcohol with coffee, combining alcohol and energy drinks can lead to masked intoxication. You might feel more awake and alert, but you're still intoxicated. This false sense of alertness can cause you to drink more alcohol than your body can safely handle. Beyond that, this combination can lead to increased dehydration, severe sleep disruption, and even serious heart issues. It's a risky mix that should be avoided. And finally, myth number 10. Drinking more alcohol can cure a hangover. Ah, the infamous hair of the dog. This myth suggests that more alcohol is the remedy for a hangover. Of all the dubious hangover cures out there, this might be the most harmful. While another drink might temporarily dull the edge of your hangover or nausea, it only prolongs your recovery process. All you're doing is adding more toxins to a body that's already working overtime to process the alcohol you've already consumed. There are truly no magic shortcuts or quick fixes for a hangover. Only time, hydration and rest will help your body recover. So, there you have it. 10 common alcohol myths busted. Drinking responsibly isn't just about the quantity you consume, but also how you consume it and the knowledge you have. There are no magic tricks or shortcuts to make drinking easier or healthier. The best approach is always to consume alcohol safely, in moderation and with a clear understanding of its true effects without buying into these persistent myths. Thank you so much for watching and for being informed. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss our next video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time.